Aloha, everyone, and welcome back to another Space Weather Update. Yesterday, we were dealing with an X2 solar flare and what the implications of that were going to be. Now we're starting to see that data arrive on the Earth side of things, and it's going to increase. So I'm going to show you where you should be looking next and kind of give you an idea about what to expect this weekend as we deal with our families. But I'll tell you right now, the coherency is not very good, and this is what's playing in my head when it comes to this weekend storm, okay? This is the calm before the storm, before the surge. And when it comes, and it will come, never will so many ask so much of so few. All right, killer line, buddy. He really delivered that, and it's stuck in my brain literally forever. But what is funny is that he's made a recent post, okay, another recent a news uh, announcement, basically, that they're going to be opening their airspace for Santa on the 24th and 25th in Ireland. And for me, I was like, okay, that's, that's a little suspicious. Why would you even bother to do such a thing? You know what I mean? It's not like you care about the kids that much, in my opinion. You could tell them anything more productive than that, in my opinion. So it was very bizarre. And so as I was recording this video earlier and struggling, the coherency was really bad, like 3%. It got to 0.71%. It got so bad. And I'll tell you what, this is like the fourth time I've recorded this video. But I just want to let you know that into the weekend, coherency is probably not going to be great because of all the solar wind causing the aurora and the earthquakes. Here's the wave that's incoming, a little mo bit more of a visual. I've been posting about this, but if you're not sure yet, this is on spaceweather.com. The solar wind is currently at 454 kilometers per second. That's over 400, so it's going to start feeling like it. We are going to be bodying this wave of energy that's come off the sun from that X2 solar flare. So we're going to be watching the planetary K index the most to see if when these bars start going up to a K index four, five, six, seven this weekend. I'm expecting a seven, I'll be honest with you. I'm expecting the solar wind to stop making any sense data wise. And I'm also ready to watch the, the equator of our planet over this weekend get a very high dose of radiation. I don't know if you're familiar with our planetary atlas here, but along the equator, there are a few special areas. And one of them is geopolitically going off right now. And if, this is a historical war, okay? And there's a reason because the sun is constantly focusing its radiation over that particular section of the planet every single day. So you can imagine that they are actually channeling in and alchemizing some of the most concentrated radiation from our environment in that area. So maybe just, I would say, consider that. Consider that and tell the people who are living there also, hey, you're being radiated also more than everyone else on the planet right now. So if you're feeling a little tense, it may also be that as well. And this is also maybe a response to that, what you're all experiencing. So you can take a little step back and maybe reconfigure your belief systems a little bit. Kind of reorient yourself in the environment you're actually in or defending. It may help a little bit. So overall, though, these are the charts we're going to be looking at. This is the whole planet, okay? This is the whole planet from space. It's not going to talk about any particular country. We're just going to watch the whole magnetic field get crushed around us as it protects us from this huge storm that's on the way the evidence that the storm is kind of dissipating on the sun side of things and it's more so just the earth side that needs to receive what's happened we're receiving all of this these three four major points of radiation exploding today we got a little one okay while i was filming this we were literally getting one a smaller solar flare underneath an m a c-class high c-class flare but as you can see the intensity has diminished. So we're not going to be getting major flares, I hope, at the same time as the storm arrives, but it's still possible. So I just have to let you know that that's still possible. But everybody now is focusing on this wave that's incoming, this wave of solar wind. Um, no one's talked about their concerns with the earthquakes that I've seen so far, but knowing this science, that's the next thing on our list. 
I have some evidence here of the 2017 top 50 solar flares because the NOAA released an article yesterday saying that this X 2.8 or 2.7, they have classed it, is the most powerful flare since 2017. 2017 was a massive year for solar radiation. It was also a massive year of many of our awakenings. How many of you got activated in 2017 and left your life or began the process of changing your diet, leaving your old life, leaving the matrix, leaving what you are using as like survival and providing for yourself and providing for others instead of taking. This was a huge year for that big turning point turning point for a lot of people. If we're going to replicate this particular level of radiation in 2024, can you imagine the liberation that's going to happen for people who didn't quite get the ticket in 2017? It's going to be very interesting. So those of you who woke up in 2017, be alert, be aware, be empathetic to those who are in their awakening process now. In 2017, we received an X 9.3 solar flare. This was right before I started reporting all of this particular stuff for solar flares. I was more so watching the earth and not as much the sun. But a 9.3 in September and an 8.2 just days after that. So that was a huge episode in September 2017. Historical. So I'm glad the NOAA brought that up. As you can see, their third most powerful was less powerful than the one that we got yesterday. So... We are on par, in a way, with 2017's third most powerful flare, if that helps you kind of understand what they were trying to tell you yesterday. We're going to watch the aurora and the earthquakes, like I keep saying. Aurora and earthquakes are the response, as well as the lack of coherency. So the sunspot group is still getting close to the corner. It could still flash us any second. It's not going to be earth-directed, though. Because we're hanging out kind of over here, I feel like, if I understand that right. And according to the sun, and this guy's over here, obviously we're pretty close by. If we can still see the sun's face and what's happening on the sun's face, it can still see us. So that's happening still. We're going to wait for that to rotate away. But I'm seeing more activity and stuff on this side coming towards us. So the party's not over, in case you were hoping it's not. You know, 2024 is just going to up it. So get ready. You just, it's funner when you can actually understand what's going on. It makes it easier. You know how long the pain's going to last and you know how long the el- elation is going to last as well. You may notice that there's going to be a lot of spraying in your skies to kind of protect from this radiation as well. It's all in unison. Everything's happening for a reason. There's already a system. And they've been trying to tell you what they're doing but people get so angry that they don't continue telling you more information they just go okay that's enough for them my website's working ascensiondiaries.com go check it out and sign up for my mailing list my patreon and my telegram if you can to join this party to join the fun as the fun will continue into 2024 this is going to be my year 2024 is going to be so much fun for this research and just overall it's kind of like a sporting event at this point where I know things are going to go like top tier things are going to be their best and I'm very much looking forward to seeing what kind of crazy stuff we're going to witness on the sun's surface (laughs) and I invite you all to join me in that process so thank you for subscribing I've been reading your comments. Thank you so much for commenting. I've been seeing that you've been thumbs upping. I've been seeing that you've been sharing. Thank you for trying to get this content out there because you genuinely think people will find it interesting. I appreciate that. While we look for the earthquakes and so on through social media, I'm going to be uploading, but all my Patreon members get this information firsthand real quick. I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing is the biggest concern 24-7. And you may notice that I'm not going to message you that often because I genuinely don't want to abuse your time. I want you to know when there's something I'm truly concerned about. Otherwise, gratuitously, far less regularly, I'm going to send you that gratuitous stuff. That's for social media. That's the fishing grounds when I'm trying to find newly awakened souls who are resonating with this information. So thank you, awakened souls, for being here with me today. I love you all very much and thank you for spreading the good vibes. Onward to the next one. Beep, bubble, beep.